Madonna 1984 you know it <laughs> I'm coming to y'all because I just wanted to um remind y'all of this um let, let's just think about Madonna back in 1984 slash 1986 you know those years she came out and take a look at her body back then and take a look at her body now what has she done over the years has she just gone with the flow has she has she cultivated a plan for herself and exercised and worked her body and all those things to look like some kind of metamorphosis of herself that the point about her is she's a very driven person and regardless of how she got there or what she stands for or whatever, it, she's driven in her own way. She has a plan. She doesn't just say, well, I, I really don't have the willpower. I mean, no. I remember her saying she did 100 crunches. It may have been 500. This was when she was in high school and she was a cheerleader. And she started noticing that she wasn't that toned. And um, she had a plan and she stuck to it. She, she probably had things to insert in her life, like instead of partying it up all the time, she probably had a plan. Um, just like this right here. This is what's half of that one bag of kale, so 50 cents for all these chips that, do y'all see that? These are crunchy. I mean, you know, it's kind of a late night snack. <laughs> really, it's 8.59, but listen. Very savory, very salty tasting, and kind of spicy, yummy. They taste salty because what I did to those kale is I massaged them with lemon juice, and I'm not sure what it is about lemon juice that gives you a little salty edge feeling, but then I put a little bit of my chili powder sprinkle on there, and a little bit of paprika, and that's how I like it. That's how I roll with the kale, you know? Um... Because just like people that, some people are really addicted to chips and crackers and things like that. So make your chia crackers. Make a way to feel like, how can I get my hands on a dehydrator? Can I buy one on eBay? Can I sell something I have to get one? Can I work a little extra on the side? What can I do? You know, if you have that need for a crunch, you know, beyond just celery and those type things, I think it's kind of a missing component people just try to ignore, but yet, yet it's a real thing to people, you know, so instead of saying, oh, well, I just can't do it, you know, I don't have the willpower, or um, <clears throat> I had somebody actually say to me the other day, they said, that, I don't know why I thought that was funny, but it's not funny, she said, um, you know, you have extreme willpower, I just can't do this, I really suck, and I said to her, as long as you keep saying, I suck out into the air, guess what? You are going to suck. You are going to seem like that to other people. And most of all, and most importantly, you're going to seem like that to yourself. And you're going to continue to gravitate sucky people to you. I don't even like that word, but um, that's what was said. So, you know, it has nothing to do, really, with self-control. It has to do with a plan. It has to do with staying carved up, eating enough calories so you don't fall off the bandwagon, so you don't halt your your weight loss or your goals or your um, athletic performance goals. All these components that we know, we have to plug them in. Um, it has nothing to do with willpower. It has everything to do with your mindset of, instead of Pringles potato chips tonight, I'm going to have these kale chips. And I'm going to love them, and they are going to love me back. And when I get up in the morning, my eyes are not going to be swollen. I'm going to get to choose if I want to, you know, wear eye makeup or not. If I want to sit around with these cold eye compresses on or wear glasses and kind of peep over like I've been punched in the face or have a hangover. But it's a hangover from food, from standard American diet, you know, that's killing people. Um... The right mindset and a plan. That's what we need, you know? I'm going to think of some other people that do that. But, you know, people that do that, they're not, um, 
They're not dwelling on, well, I suck. I just suck. I have no willpower. I, I can't do it. I can't do this like so-and-so can. I don't have enough money to do it. I don't have, you know, I don't shop at new clothes stores. I usually don't even buy clothes. I got a shirt for $3 a day that rocks the Casbah. <laughs> I'm going to wear it tomorrow. But um, at the second-hand store, and furthermore, I made money because I took clothes in there, and I sold $25 worth, and I spent three, which was a big spender for me because I was popping tags. <laughs> So I came out of there with 22 bucks in the old pocket, you know? And I could buy myself some gas and some kale. So, where there's a will, there's a way. And I'm going to keep on doing it. I'm going to keep on using my, my creative way, my creative side. I'm going to visualize myself as the next thing, you know? I'm fixing to kick up my, my fitness just a little bit, just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to kick at these abs a little bit because I'm liking to sport some skin in the summertime and I'm liking to rock some abs. I'm not going to have to work out every day for two hours to do that. I'm not going to have to go on some extreme program. Um, I'm just going to tweak my rebounding a little bit and tweak my crutches a little bit. I'm going to roll out on my wheel some and I still won't even have maximum 15-20 minutes in my workout every day and every part of my body is toned and every cell is is respirating the the lymphatic system is draining my brain is thinking you know I still got up at four this morning and my friend I said well, let's do something tonight let's let's do something fun and I'm tired you know blah 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 do we want to be tired do we always want to spend our whole life being tired being sick and tired I tell you when I'm gonna rest if it's not just that I feel like resting, I'm going to need to rest when I'm dead. I'll rest then because now I got living to do, you know? I'm going to take a holiday in my own brain. <laughs>